Luftschick is the colloquial name of a unique German tractor. It is the only surviving artillery tractor of this type in the world. In order to get to know even a little of the Luftschick, which is not an easy task, because apart from the vehicle itself, only three photos from the wartime have survived. No documents have been found to this day. You need to go back to 1934, when it goes into production the first version of the SDKFZ-8 tractor, with the designation DB, Daimler-Benz 7. However, in 1939 another version, the DB-10, entered the assembly lines. And this is what we will be most interested in, because the Luftschick is built on the SDKFZ-8 tractor chassis, in the DB-10 version. It is extremely heavily armored. It can be assumed that it could have been towing the famous 8,8 centimeter. Probably vehicles of this type were to pull up such a gun as close to the front line as possible, along with its crew and ammunition. This type of vehicle, based on the SDKF Z8 DB10 chassis, was probably a short series for testing. However, they did not enter mass production. The existing ones went to the Luftwaffe units on the Eastern Front, which is confirmed by the original registration number preserved on the vehicle, starting with the letters WL. In the surviving example, the front wheels use continental cast rubber tires, which, instead of the standard tread, have deep round holes, which reduces their weight and increases flexibility. Judging by the condition of the rubber details and engine cylinders, it can be concluded that this particular tractor did not have high mileage. How did Luftschick end up at the bottom of Palika? In mid-January 1945, an offensive of the Red Army reached the area of Tommaso. Not all German units managed to retreat through Tommaso's bridges, as these were blown up by sappers. Therefore, another possibility had to be found for crossing the river. The blind bridges could be a rescue for the Germans. That is, shallow places on the river that were marked on the staff maps. However, in the autumn of 1944, a large part of them was damaged by the flood, so soldiers often had to look for another way to the other side of the river. The crew of the Luftschick and the second vehicle of this type made an attempt to cross the river near the Kulas settlement, today the area of Kolajowa Street in Tomazo. One of these vehicles couldn't cross the river because the ice below it broke and it got stuck in the water. Its crew escaped and managed to get to German positions. The second was stuck close to the right bank of the river because it slid too rapidly onto the ice that was cracking under it. Vehicle is stuck with no possibility of retreating. The crew evacuated from the vehicle and crossed the ice to the other side of Pilisa. Sometime later, in 1957, German tractors became interested in some private company. An attempt was made to extract one of them, but the military stopped the mining operation. The army pulled one of the vehicles out of the river, an attempt was also made to pull out the Luftschick, but it failed when pulling it. The rope broke. Then it was decided to blow up the vehicle and take it away as scrap. The explosives were transported to the vehicle by boat and detonated. However, it did not do much. A second attempt was made to blow it up, this time increasing the load. The Luftschick was damaged, but the army gave up any further attempts to extract or destroy the vehicle. The transporter was encountered again in 1999. And then, another attempt to extract it was made, this time with a success. After extraction and renovation carried out in Glono, Luftschick has become the most valuable exhibit of the open-air museum of the Pilica River, where it is exhibited with mounted wheels and a Kras engine, which successfully replaced the originals, which can also be seen in the museum. The original engine was incomplete. It is believed that the Luftschick could have belonged to the famous Hermann Göring Armored Division, it was a Luftwaffe land division, which had 88 mm guns in stock. The hypothesis would be confirmed by the registration number, massive towing hook of the vehicle, and hatches for carrying ammunition.